Um, in 2009, um, I developed um, transverse myelitis, which affected most of my, my lower limb mobility. Um, and as a result, uh, I have to mobilise in a wheelchair for long distances. Um, and basically, I was off work for about a year. Um, and I, challenges wise, there were two main challenges. One was getting back to work. Um, the deanery didn't really seem to know what to do. Um, they initially said, oh, no, you can't get back to work because you can't do visits, so you can't complete your training, which was a bit ridiculous and obviously uh, hit me quite hard when I was already down. Um, and I ended up having to find out um, from a occupational health, um, sorry, occupational health uh, professor at Hammersmith what I could and could not do, and he had to contact the deanery on my behalf. Um, so it was all a bit of a shambles, really. Um, my disability is I uh, have a weakness in both my legs. Uh, from a childhood polio of, uh, affecting the legs. Uh, so my main disability is difficulty in walking uh, and uh, I'm uh, prone for falls uh, and I've broken my leg a couple of times. And the main uh, difficulty I found when I did my fellowship in this country was uh, traveling from place to place uh, to attend courses uh, because most of the courses were based in London and I had to travel from my workplace, take the train, take the tube, and to get to places was, was difficult. I was diagnosed with OCD, but it was mainly a sort of obsessional um, component to it. Um, and at the same time, I was trying to continue to medical school, but certain situations came up where I needed help. Um, and because people didn't know that something else was going on, I actually got in trouble for professional behavior when really it was more to do with me not being very well. Uh, I was born with deformed feet and I had them amputated when I was about a year old. So I've ended up walking on uh, prosthetic legs. Um, I've been really lucky, I've not had any problems with um, my working, training and I managed to work a whole normal rotor and get on with things really. Um, I've got bilateral sensory neural um, hearing impairments, moderate to severe. Um, I suppose the main challenges would have been um, in theatre or with my stethoscope, uh, that would be the one most people would think about. And then the other thing is on the phone with the rest of the team and colleagues. Yeah. I've an above knee amputation for childhood cancer and um, apart from the challenges of getting up during the night when I was a, a houseman and, and getting about, it, I really haven't had any significant problems during my training or, or during my career. Well, I've had ME for over 10 years. I had it from when I was about 16. And um, although I'm very well now, um, it previously presented me with a lot of challenges. During my PhD, I had a place to rest, and um, it w was a question of whether I was going to be able to finish it. And so far in medical school, it hasn't been much of a problem. I also have dyslexia, and certainly the anatomy um, is challenging with dyslexia.